Hey, my name is Ryan Leak. I'm an author and speaker from Dallas, Texas. And the verse of the day is 1 Peter 3.15, and it says this, But in your hearts, honor Christ the Lord is holy, always being prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for the reason for the hope that is in you. Yet do it with gentleness and respect. I think we all live in a day and age where it's pretty tempting to put our hope in, well, many things. I mean, we can put our hope in a relationship or even the desire for one. We could put our hope in a successful career. I mean, here's the deal. All of those things are very natural, but they're external hopes. The hope that Peter speaks of in our verse today is a hope that is in us. It goes far beyond any of our preferred outcomes, incomes, or circumstances. It's the kind of hope that doesn't exempt one from setbacks and disappointments, but I believe it's the kind of hope that sustains people through setbacks and disappointments. Don't we all have a family member, a friend, a neighbor, colleague, a classmate that could use that kind of hope? And sharing that hope with them can be, well, nerve-wracking or even awkward. It can be tough to explain and especially defend it. But that's why I love today's verse. Peter knows just how hard it is, and that's why he's encouraging us to prepare for it. You're not supposed to automatically be good at sharing the reason for your hope, but the way you get better at it is practice. Peter not only encourages us to be prepared to defend the reason for our hope, but also encourages us to do so with gentleness and respect. Sometimes we prepare and defend, but in the process of sharing our reasoning, we do so with judgment and arrogance. And I've never seen that as an effective method of sharing hope with others. I believe sometimes the best way to earn respect from others is by giving it away to them first. My hope and prayer for each and every one of us today is that God would give us numerous opportunities to share the reason hope we have and that we'd be prepared to do so with gentleness and respect for the ones that God has given us influence with. That's what I want you to think about today.